I'll take down your fishing pole and meet me at the fishing hole. Hey guys, welcome to Fishing Michigan, and uh, we're here out just at a local neighborhood pond, fishing for some uh, spawning bass. Uh, got a nice little chunk there. I'm using a uh, lizard, just a little lizard. I'll show you that later. But uh, uh, right there's a fish. Look at the girth on that baby. A little chunky, chunky fish. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, get the release and then I'll uh, show you what I'm using. There he goes. You can see if you saw that hump there, it's uh, he humps out of the water. So this is a uh, pretty shallow water, probably about eight inches. And then uh, I'm using, I've been forced to use my uh, ultralight spinning rod because I've a lot left all my uh, bass rods in my boat and I've uh, dug around in my tackle box so I've dug around in a house and I got this a little uh, lizard there a lizard on a, a little weighted shank hook and uh, kind of got that uh, watermelon red flake color so uh, we'll get back to you guys when you get some more fish first cast with the Yamamoto Cinco I've uh, changed to a Yamamoto Cinco because uh, I kept on running into some weeds even with that a Texas rig, so I'm uh, hoping it's just going to sit on the bottom kind of like this, you know, the hook point shaping up, shape, uh, facing up, so I'm hoping the bass will just uh, slurp that up right off their beds, because I don't know if you've seen in the video, but I have a lot of uh, ripples up here, a lot of these bass' backs are out of the water and they're just going crazy. Got it. Second fish of the day with the Yamamoto Cinco in baby bass color. Seems to be alright. Oh, it hooks perfectly. Using a Gamagatsu octopus hook. Not sure exactly the right size, but uh, there we go. Man, these bass are just fat. Those are some fat fish. And then, uh, yeah, they're just right in the spawn, and I'm uh, picking them right up off their beds. Looks like this guy's been a cop before. There we go, so there's our fish. And on the uh, baby bass Yamamoto Cinco that was sent in by one of our viewers, I uh, believe it is Michigan Outdoorsman 3. So I'd just like to thank him for the fish. He sent in this uh, four inch yum dinger in baby bass color uh, for part of our Battle of the Bait segment. So uh, get the release for you guys. There he goes. Another good fish. Oh, yeah. Came out of the water a little bit for us. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. That was a decent two pound fish. Darn it. Fish, good fish. Oh, we really got a baby up with this ultralight rod. Not sure, I haven't seen him. Feels like a good fish. Feels like I have a good two pounder. Bass are putting up a good fight. A heavy fish. Oh, yeah. Just swinging right on shore. Don't want to lose anything. There you go. Oh, no, grab. Yeah, that's not a bad fish. Good. Quarter. I'm wanting a uh, three quarter pound, two pound fish. Eh, maybe about one and three quarter, about, I'd say. So using that Cinco, but uh, yeah, I might have switched to some, uh, maybe a uh, Scotty Johnston uh, jig because, and a kind of a bluegill color, because I've seen some uh, bluegill, these bass, well, I think these bass are chasing, but uh, uh, if the single stops work, I'll sure switch to that, so uh, good fish. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, overall, it was a uh, pretty good day. Uh, I did catch some other little guys off camera, but other th because of the rain, uh, some rain came down and that kind of shortened our day, but uh, it was a decent day. I uh, did lose a, a big uh, two and a half pounder, maybe uh, maybe a little bit under that, but uh, good fish, good fight came off, and I caught a couple other good ones, so can't complain. It was a decent day, but uh, when I came home, I came home to a, a package sent in from a Stanley's Jigs. I uh, did open it, just kind of looked in there. But I decided I should share it with you guys, so I, I'm not 100% sure what I got. I did see some things. So uh, anyway, first of all, I'll talk about Stanley's Jigs. They're a company. Uh, I think they make, like, uh, jigs. They make crappie wedge. They call it, I think, I got the website pulled up right here. 
They got a crappie wedge tail. Uh, so go check that out at fishstanley.com. I'm looking off their website here. Uh, they got spinner baits, topwater frogs, uh, soft plastics, and the uh, ball buster buzz bait. And I'm really digging in these uh, wedge tail crappie minnows because if you guys can tell by our previous videos, uh, your other host Snow and I do uh, our fair share of crappie fishing. So uh, uh, look into those. And uh, go to uh, fishstanley.com. So now I'll just open the package and uh, see what I got. Looks like they did send us two of everything, which is uh, nice. Uh, Jamie Burnett is the guy that sent them in. So I just want to thank him for that. Looks like he, uh, he sent in uh, yeah, two of every bait. We got the uh, same color. So one for me and one for Noah Lubin. So that worked out pretty good. First of all, we'll show them the uh, finesse jigs. Uh, let's see, they're one fourth ounce. Mm, not exactly sure what color. I might have to look on their website later. Uh, or look more into the website to find that. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a sunfish color. I don't know, it's kind of got that sunfish back and then it kind of has a uh, red fleck trailer. So, uh, hey, it looks like a, a nice jig. Fish these along with my uh, Scotty Johnson jigs. So, uh, that'll work out uh, pretty good. And then, uh, Second thing they got was a, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. It is a Vibra Wedge Spinnerbait, uh, 3 8 ounce. Not exactly, again, sure on the color. Uh, kind of looks like a uh, similar color to the uh, jig we got over there. Kind of has a similar flash, but then it kind of adds in some blue and some white and stuff like that. So, uh, good quality spinnerbaits. Uh, if you want to go purchase some, uh, go to uh, fishstanley.com. I encourage you guys to go check them out. And then the next thing, uh, which I have used in the past, uh, is these uh, rivet frogs. Great frogs. I fish, uh, fish usually fish them on ponds, like little farm ponds, and these these bass love them. And I'm interested in this color. It's called the rabbit core. I'll take it out and show it to you guys. I mostly use the, uh, oh, I can't remember, but it's kind of like the chartreuse belly. Pumpkin, green pumpkin back, but this is a uh, rivet core, and it kind of looks like it's kind of just a bleeding frog or something in the uh, red, and then it's got the black fleck and kind of the uh, garlic or olive colored sides there all around the edges. So uh, there's some uh, detail put in these baits, guys. Uh, red glitter, too. Uh, very good detail put into these baits. Uh, and also, you can go get their hooks out at their website for these frogs. Or uh, the Gander Mountain that used to be by my house, or still is, but they only sell guns now. They uh, sold the rivet hooks and the uh, rivet uh, frogs, so that's uh, where I got mine. Uh, so if you guys want to go, get, go, again, check those out at uh, fishdaily.com. And then the last two decals they sent us were uh, a, uh, let's see, it looks like a jersey patch for uh, me and uh, Noah Lubin's jerseys. We are getting new jerseys in. Uh, this next upcoming year, not quite sure. And then these uh, stickers that they sent us, which is great because uh, we're going to start uh, stickering up our new boat. As you guys saw on the Memorial Day weekend, uh, bass fishing that uh, Noel Lubin did. And uh, had a good weekend up there and uh, tried out the new boat. But he did blow piston on the motor, so he had to get a new motor. So uh, fishing from the boat was a uh, pause for a second there. So... Uh, over the next past day, a week or so, we were fishing from uh, shore, and uh, we're still qu quite successful. So overall, go recap what they sent us: the uh, Viber, Viber Wedge, Viber Wedge Spinnerbait, the uh, jig, and then the uh, Rib Frogs, and then some uh, great decals. So uh, thank you, Jamie Burnett, over at uh, Stanley's Jigs, and uh, if you are interested in purchasing any of these products or any other products of Stanley, uh, go to fishstanley.com, guys. So until uh, next time, thanks for watching this episode of Fishing Michigan. Good luck fishing.